Hello and welcome. I'm Maria Ressa. This is your 6 p.m. wrap. The Philippine Ombudsman files graft and malversation charges against Senator J.V. Ejercito and 19 others for diverting calamity funds worth 2.1 million pesos to buy high-powered firearms for the San Juan City Police. The transaction was completed in 2008 when Ejercito was San Juan mayor. Graft investigators say local officials authorized Ejercito to buy three K2 submachine guns and 17 K1 submachine guns. Ombudsman Conchita Carpio Morales says there was no declaration placing San Juan under a state of calamity at that time. Ejercito calls Morales' move politically motivated and insists the firearms purchase does not break any law. In his first appearance before the Senate, casino junket agent Kim Wong named two other Chinese travel operators allegedly involved in the laundering of 81 million U.S. dollars stolen from the Bangladesh Bank. Wong denies any link to the scheme but says Ding Zhiji and Gao Shuhua facilitated the entry of laundered money into Philippine casinos. He adds, dismissed RCBC manager Maya de Santos de Guito informed him about the massive transfer. Wong says he advised de Guito to send the money to Solaire Resort and Casino in cash. He adds he's willing to turn over 4 million U.S. dollars left under the junket operations. De Guito did not attend the hearing. Mount Kanlaon remains on alert level 1 after erupting early Tuesday night. The Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology says Mount Kanlaon is in, quote, an abnormal condition and in a period of current unrest. FIVOX warns the public to stay out of the 4-kilometer permanent danger zone and urges civil aviation authorities not to fly close to the volcano summit. Officials say there's no need to evacuate residents yet. Follow Rappler.com for continuing updates. Myanmar swears in a civilian president after decades of military rule. Tin Cho replaces former General Tin Sein. Wednesday, Cho has close ties with Aung San Suu Kyi, leader of the National League for Democracy. NLD swept the general elections last November, a victory seen as an end to half a century of military rule. Myanmar's constitution blocks Suu Kyi from the presidency because her two sons and her late husband are British. She will serve as foreign minister in the country's first civilian government in decades. The World Health Organization says Ebola is no longer a global health emergency. WHO Chief Margaret Chan says, quote, the risk of international spread is now low. More than 11,300 died in December 2013, the deadliest Ebola outbreak in Guinea, Liberia, and Sierra Leone. Chan says all three countries are still vulnerable to flare-ups. That's your 6 p.m. wrap. Join us again tomorrow for the day's top news. I'm Maria Ressa. Remember, tomorrow begins today.